Here we are, it's still July 27th. This is part two that, uh, with cold process, the fat we have not tried, beef tallow. So let's drop some lye. This is the same formula. It's a 30-30-30 mix of coconut oil, beef tallow, and olive oil. We used light olive oil this time. And we also added 5% castor oil which we might not have needed because one of the virtues of tallow, especially grass-fed tallow, not grain-fed beef, but grass-fed beef, is it's chock full of vitamins, A, C, D, and I'm not sure about E, but we're picking that up with the castor oil anyway. So again, we want to get this just to trace, or I mean just to emulsification, not to trace and we're going to pour off some and use some indigo natural um, colorant to color the bottom we're going to use this on the bottom and we're also going to add some spirulina powder which is that deep pretty green that you've seen me use before so there is our indigo it looks kind of green already and that's due to the yellow undertones of both the tallow and the light um olive oil i was going to use the dark robust olive oil this time but i've been keeping it in the fridge and it was a brick and i wasn't going to put it in the microwave because it won't fit in the microwave so at any rate here we go we're adding a little bit of fragrance oil and sodium lac to our little cup of what's going to be our base and I'm just giving it a buzz with the um, stick blender and now we're pouring our blue green base it's more green than blue but it's also kind of dusty because that in indigo color is a dusty um, denim color all right, here we go. We're spreading it in the bottom. It's just perfect consistency to spread. And as we get prepared to drop the white color on top, it's going to set up just enough so that we should be able to get color separation. And in this case, we're going to pour over the spatula so that the white doesn't penetrate the dusty green layer. And then at some point I'm going to grab a tool and I'm going to do a swirl. Um, we'll see what it looks like when it's cut. I don't do much color work because it's not something I'm really interested in, honestly. Uh, this is for me to be able to learn how to make soap and for me to show you, you know, what it looks like for somebody to learn to make soap. Well, there it is. It's just uh, edge cleanup time and then I'm going to wrap it up and put it in a warm oven at um, 170 degrees but the oven is churned off so we'll see you for the cut Here it is the same recipe two different processes both hot and cold and uh, two different fragrances now what's the one fragrance you would expect every soaper to have lavender well the plain bar is in fact lavender. I haven't decided whether I'm going to mill it or not. If I do, you'll get an update. But I'm very pleased with it. Thanks for stopping by for both episodes. Have a great day.